So am I in charge or is it you? I don't know. Oh, you want me to do this? I don't know. I, I guess I'll do it because I'm I'm here this time. Hi everyone, it's Light Connor, Connor not here for it. Uh, Connor's dead because he has to wake up in an hour and a half to roll to Mamo, whereas it's like 4 p.m. for me. So I'm going to win this race. Anyway, uh, I'm Light Chief Punnett. I'm here with like a billion people who are just here for some reason. Um, I wasn't on the last cast, but we're going to do the continuation. It is Kimono Friends Red and Blue. With me, I have, well, I don't get to say as al well, do I get to say as always? Because right I've never been on It's cast. still as always. I've never been on a cast without you, but you've been on a cast without me. So that's, that's it fair. works for me, as always. Yeah, uh, right. I'll press here. Uh, we have our uh, pseudo leader, Tim Tom the Bim Bomb. Um, and who else do we have? Oh, we've got Paru, who was here last time, I think, in yes. my stead. And we've got um, Butts and Coconuts, who is um, who is who is here, I guess. Oh, we, we also have the, uh, the Austrian. What's his name? Uh, uh, that, good that t-shirts. Unfortunately, yeah. there's like not nearly enough spots in my program to support all of the evil. So that's it's okay. okay. That's fine. I'll, I'll um, share it with. Uh, I'll share it with. Uh, all right, it's gonna be Paru wait, and wait. Teru, and I put. Wait, why is... twice? <laughs> no, just no. Fuck you. Don't put me with Paru. What the hell? <laughs> no, it could be uh, Paru just, just... and it could be Paru and Christian. Just, uh, remove me. Remove me from it. Like I'm not gonna have very much input because I don't know red very well at all. Oi! You late. just put. Oi! All right, all right. It's and, too... uh, it's not here's, too here's late. Here's I'm too lazy. Okay, we also have um, we also have what's his name in the background. Uh, but he's not talking until blue, so I'll do his introduction then. Anyway, uh, well, we're, we're gonna get started because if we don't, then this will never end. Uh, with a friend rare, Shubil, actually modest, 3 to 11k. So, uh, Shubil can't move to another slot, which is, I, I think this is the, the only instance of this ability being printed on a card itself. Uh, no, when this uh, Titan 00 support. Is there one? Yes. Yeah. Well, well, Alright, sure. I believe it. Uh, well, well actually, actually, yeah, this is the first, first. instance, because oh. Titan came out second. Sure. Uh, when this is placed from hand to stage, check up to six cards from the top of your deck, choose three of them, and up to, well, choose three of them, get rid of them, and then the rest go on top in any order. And pay one ditch climax when this is placed from hand to stage, you may pay that cost. If you do, add a climax from your wedding room to your hand. Is this playable? I don't think it's playable, right? No, like, I get what they're trying really to do. Uh, they're trying to uh, do the, um, the stand by stuff. Thing with you, right? Yeah, you're supposed to stack like standby triggers for the restands, but it's just like it just this. costs too much. But like, do people even play this in standby decks? No. Then like, there's no reason. Like, there's no no reason not to just play servo restands, and you can play standby restands in addition to servo restands. But then this doesn't do anything. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so yeah, this is meant to stack your deck for the lion lion. I think it's lion restand. Yeah. Lion. And, um... They tried... <laughs> I don't know, this seems like a pretty mediocre card that you probably shouldn't be running. I like the Climax fixing, but since it costs two, and... Well, I guess it's a sizable body. It costs uh, three, basically, so... Oh, damn, it does cost three. Yeah, no, that, that's not something I'm interested in. It costs three, uh, and you do need to have the Climax in hand already, so... Or, like, a Climax. But I don't know not, what you're playing, and are you, like playing gold bars with this? No. You can get rid of your stupid standby that you've got stuck in your hand and get a get a that's get true. restand. Like that's not an upside. That's like It's like playing play. bad cards to enable bad cards. So you you you're playing a bad card to make a bad card less bad and that's never what you want to do. Yeah. Like we're going to see I don't think this card sees play. This is like a niche minus at best. Um, I, someone could probably call it bad, but I don't want to do that. I don't think it's straight up bad. There is yeah, a niche you, you for still, it. You're still controlling your triggers. That's that's well, not what. There's a niche for it, but that that deck that this niche would that this like that deck doesn't play this card. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. The, the niche so, like, exists, and that deck still doesn't want this. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Words are hard. Words are hard. Well. Cool. So, 
Uh, I'm assuming people are giving it mediocre ratings. All right, Kaban, Song of the Japari Bun. Um, what? Yeah, when you play an event, this gains the ability to bomb. Oh, no, 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 it's no. a bomb already. Level 1 bomb, and then when you play an event, it gains on reverse top deck. So... Uh, it's an Atsu bomb. Except yeah, it's, it's not too bomb. Except plain and you don't get the, you don't get the one hit power, which is clearly very relevant. No. Um, does this C play? I'm not sure it does. No, I don't think so. Like maybe if some deck runs the one zero Chihaya's Kamara event, then you have something to trigger this with. But like even then, it's there's really no no big reason to run red at all. From what I know, the um, Chihaya's camera event is called Japari Buns, right? And it's yeah. yellow? Yeah. So, why doesn't this bond to that event? Hmm. Uh, it would uh, be too because, strong. Because, like, <laughs> Japari Buns in the show, uh, it's like friends randomly dig them out of the ground or shit, or it's like they pull something out of their home and they're like, guys, look, I found Japari Buns. Kaban doesn't sounds... get the Japari bun. Oh, Everyone the, else does. The, it's the so robot. why would she bond the... for it? Check that me. sounds terribly unhygienic. Like they're they're wrapped. That. They're wrapped. Oh, they're they're like produced in a factory by the Lucky Beasts. They're what? They're produced in a facility by the little robot guys. What's produced in a factory now? The, the bun. The bun? Buns. Oh, the actual buns. Okay. They're uh... like Twinkies for friends. <laughs> Twinkies for friends. <laughs> We'll go with that. Uh, I think this card is not bad by itself. It's just not played, right? Because red yeah. is just kind of whatever. Yeah. It's like a niche card. It's, it's all, honestly, it's probably just playable, right? I think it's just playable. I mean, even level one, bottom, uh, even if even no, if red I, is I not a color that you. I don't know. Like even even if this was even if this wasn't a color that you play in. If you don't enable like the event trigger consistently, then this is not good, and Level there really one. is no way to Level one enable the event fine. consistently unless you. No, I don't think they're fine. I think they're I just think they're... whatever. I think I think one zero bombs are kind of bad unless they have a good second ability. I mean, I mean second ability isn't good enough. I think to warm up. You can even run this in red decks because it's not good enough. I think you would. I I, would I you say not niche. Run this in red decks? No, I feel like no. You, still would. you just oh. you just kill their thing without a bomb. Like, it's just better. See, this is the problem I have with informed set reviews. You just kind of disregard half the cards that you would have talked about before. Whatever. Well, um, I mean, us I mean, we're, we're, ta we're talking, talking about, about it. We're just saying it. that it's bad. Yeah, yeah, you're talking about I it in a very specific way. I mean, I'm, still, minus, I'm, I'm still giving it a play. It like, I still think it's fine. Sure. Uh, I just don't yeah. think bombs are very good. Like, I don't think uh, my opinion on this would change very much even if it were played in the deck, because usually, to me, that's like, unless it's something like a climax combo, like the Chica bomb, if you're playing a level 1 bomb, it probably means you just don't have anything better to be playing. Sure, that's fair enough. Alright, let's move on then. Crested Ibis, Menacing Singing is a 3295. When it comes to play, draw a card and um, gain 2k. And when this attacks, if you have 2 to peak above the clouds, I don't know what climax that is. Gate. Is it a gate? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so if you've got the gate in the climax zone, you may pay 1. If you do, deal 1 damage and freeze one of your opponent's back row characters. Level now, 1 or lower. Level 1 or lower cards, it doesn't stand during your opponent's <laughs> next stand phase. Uh, and it's got friends on core. <laughs> I, yeah, this card I, is bad. I got yeah. so excited when this card got announced and then that excitement quickly turned to a disappointment. Yeah, um, this is a very mediocre finisher. Uh, the whole anti-stand thing is kind of alright. Like, it stops things like brainstorms, but... Is it even that good, though? No, I feel like it's, it's only actually... good if your opponent has, an, like, an actual reason to brainstorm, right? And the only reason they would still need to brainstorm is if they're, like, still level 2. And they Agreed. still, like, they need the playables, right? I'm gonna be... So, or like, I'm gonna or be maybe they still need their finisher or something, The but... only time it's ever... Uh, like, well, what... 
I don't think that this comes card, up very often right the, now. The issue is this card wouldn't even be played in like any deck, in, in any <laughs> regular deck. But this card, uh, this deck even has the anti burn that directly contradicts this card. So there's really just no reason. Well, well it's not just because of the anti burn. Well, like if the card, if the Kaban weren't as good as it is for consistency purposes, you could maybe see an argument for the Ibis. But the problem is the anti burn is just so integral to deck consistency for most of the decks you're like going to run in this set. So. I think that just eliminates this card from contention in any build, period. Well, you, you're saying the same thing as he is, that the anti-burn is that good. No, so well... So you just don't play this well, card. Well, basically I Tom's feel, saying no, that, the, to that the reverse surge the, is important for the deck. It's, it's not specifically because of the anti-burn effect, it's because the card it's attached to is just... No, no, I, I, I am aware, but you can't, can't get that effect without the anti-burn, which is why they this card's not going to get played. They tried to, like, make another... On death, Ricky effect, I guess, so that you could play this card with a busting level zero. But the problem is that the other one's actually just like kind of really whatever. Is that one just Ricky from Waiting Room? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. on death. It's okay. It's like the Wiz. Yeah. yeah, but that's just much worse. Like, yeah. yeah. Krista is not comparable to Ricky aside from dealing yourself damage. That's like the only thing it's comparable for. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. Look, that card is not playable in any meta build. But if you like Ibis, then that's that's your thing, I guess. Who uh, was? Uh, I think Haru bought this. T. All right. Alpaca Suri, uh, cafe waitress. Uh, this is a cool card. It's a two-one red. Uh, when another friend's character is placed to the stage, it gains one K power and T for the turn. So because that's the T part, right? It's it's some it's some cute flavor and it um and it doesn't it's not actually detrimental against Ash either because this card already has T, and you can rest to choose a friend's character in your waiting room and put it in stock, which is a super powerful ability. Like, holy this crap! This is probably the best card in red. Yeah, this is like, like the if you play red, this is the reason why. Yeah, you play um, standby because of this, right? This so is one of this actually, is one of few standby targets, but maybe I mean you could play this maybe okay I know Christian's trying to make it fit an owl because you could play yeah stuff okay over. so no well I've probably tested with this card the most so uh, the issue I have with this in standby is you standby it out at level one right so the turn you standby it out you don't get any benefit so you'd need to stay at level one for an extra turn to get an extra stock. I mean, technically, you don't get any benefit the turn you play this either, like hard play. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I mean, uh, I mean, mean, you can potentially pump your characters a K, but you wouldn't be getting that if you stand by it out. Yeah, no. Uh, well, if you stand by it out at level one, you're still gonna get like at least one. You're use gonna of the basically turn. if you if you stand by it out, you're gonna. Uh, cheapen the cost, like you're not gonna have to pay the cost of the card, just the one stock. But you're not stock charging earlier. So, uh, really what it does is like, be a really bad stock soul, it doesn't actually give you a soul. Hmm. So like, after you standby this though into your back row, like what do you do with your other standbys? Because then you probably have two back row slots. Yeah, that's a, that's another issue that that has. Like your, your standby is just don't do anything. Doesn't after have, like a, a certain doesn't point. have some like card that like bounces itself. Well, I guess it does. Mm. Uh, just... The Tuchinoko, yeah, but I don't even play the card in standby because you just yeah. uh, you're playing coin flip. Usually with yeah. standby, I think you play coin flip and you just can't allow your density of non right. uh, hits to be that much higher. You don't even have any way to like stand the things that you stand by. No, you can only stand the lion. And the, the issue, the other issue with the lion, like we'll talk about the lion as next card, That's right? Next card. So I'll just talk about the lion then. But I, I haven't given up on this card. I think this card is very powerful, and I've tried it in various builds, and it's always overperformed, to be honest. Uh -huh. uh, I still haven't found a proper shell yet. I think the two soul build works fine with this. Uh, and I'm gonna try to make it fit and also, like, do a. Uh, is there a good way to leverage any extra stock into serious advantage outside of a brainstorm? Because uh, that's pretty crucial. Uh, there's a bond that 
converts well, it. There's a bond, there's a brainstorm, and there's or... kind of owls. The, the brainstorm is awkward because, again, this uses a back row slot. And no, the brainstorm is tap self. Even if it is a tap self, right? Like, ideally, you'd still want to try to get multiple activations of this. I mean, there's. there's different advantage engines like you can run dolphins with this which is a completely costless advantage engine well, you can run owls uh if, which is the, the biggest advantage that this card is providing over like a level x right is the fact that you generate an additional stock each turn right so you really want I mean, to pick people an play engine G. that kind of leverages that extra stock a turn you don't need to do that no people, no you just I mean, there are plenty of decks extra that compression. there are plenty of decks that play stock souls and they incidentally become compression decks because they play Stock Soul. Like Kill a Kill, for example. Is a good example of a deck that plays Stock Souls, and the extra stock enables it, you know, to become a better compression deck. Well, that's not, well, it's not really how it goes. That deck just that doesn't is, spend stock. That is that's... exactly how, I mean, sure, but like, It I'm doesn't saying... spend stock, and it also has markers, but... Unless you're saying they play three or more stock souls over the course of every game, that's not really much of an argument. I mean, like the why does, why, does, why, can, why can Railgun become a compression deck on the side? Because it also doesn't spend stock, and you can just choose not to use the door at level two. That's why. I guess. I don't think Kimono Friends really spend stock until level two either. And it that's just has like super efficient stock usage regardless. I, I'm I'm not disagreeing with you. I just don't think labeling something a compression deck by accident is really something you can do. It's not by accident. They just incidentally like, the design of the deck contributes towards it being a compression deck in the same way that this potentially could like this could serve a similar role. Is it as um, good? Basically maybe Kimono wants to go for the long game and this gets better the longer the game goes. Yeah. So it ne just naturally fits well into what Kimono wants to do. I can agree with that. Sure. I think the card is still good. Uh, look, this card is sweet, and if you... Playable play boss. Like, I just yeah, haven't found a shell yet. I think yeah, it's It's just playable. No, oh, it's like playable plus. It's just hard to find uh, a shell. I think it's playable. No, well, that's because you've already built a deck and you've decided that this isn't in the deck, so it can't oh, be more. Well, like, we're still having trouble figuring out where to put this card because there are a number of considerations. Even though the effect is good, there are considerations. No, no, and the fact different. that this card is like a consideration that you're still thinking about shells makes it more than just a random playable. Like, this is something you consider when you try to make a deck. I mean, you don't make it. Sure, it just seems like. I guess. Yeah, like, it seems this like it's a very. Card. You, well, you would like, try to make a deck around, around the. It's just an incidental. Card. It's just an incidental sweet card that you try and fit in because it's sweet, and like you try to work around its deficiencies. I, 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 I think it's less than that bit. though, right? Because like w with this particular effect, it's the reason why you're playing this color, right? You're building the deck specifically to try to leverage this. You don't card. need color in some of the decks that you like. The reason why we're trying to fit this card is because we don't need the color to play this card. Because owls can play this card without color. Owls playing this card down instead of support seems not very good. This is I, I, just I haven't used Christian support a lot. About. I haven't used this support a lot because you just try fielding already plays anyway, so you usually don't really no, use the support that much. Played play in the deck then, I guess. It's... Whatever. I didn't right. even mean until right now that you can play that thing without color. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Next card is Lion, King of Beasts. Um, come and play, it's a 3 2 10k. Come and play, you can salvage your friend. And Climax Combo, uh, when it's placed to the stage or via the um, specifically via the effect of the standby, you may pay two and ditch two. If you do, stand this card. Mm. Uh, both effects, right? So, uh, via playing it, it or playing or triggering it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Okay. This card just okay. Like so, okay, so I, I can I can talk about this. Uh, you'd usually play this in a deck, like or I'm I've tried it in a deck with the restand with the solo restand, because I'm playing that incidentally. Uh, and the big issue this card has is, for example, if you attack with the restand 
and attack with another reset and then trigger the standby. Uh, the, the trigger doesn't interact well with resets at all because you summon over a card that would already attack again. So you need to trigger the standby in like the fourth or fifth card exactly for this to do anything. And there's no way to set that up, huh? Yeah, there's no way to set that up. Uh, you can sometimes get like extra attacks at level two or whatever, but this is just a very costly restand, I think, for deck the, the deck that this goes in, and mm. the fact that like if you play the stand by itself from your hand, this doesn't do anything. And it's also really expensive. Yeah, I mean, hey, so, you pay I mean, it's only it's... one part extra, but um, it's still not great. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I don't like this card because of the inherent, like, they balanced it. They, they really tried to balance it because this is potentially really broken if you can set it up. I don't think there's really a way to set it up even in standard. Oh, I'm sure there's way in standard, but no real way. And I mean, for that reason, even in standard, I... just like, doesn't do that much. First of all, you have to play standby, like, that's already punishment enough. <laughs> like, you're, you're, to you're tossing this into the standby deck. And then sometimes you'll... Hmm. Like the worst part is this doesn't even do anything in your hand. I mean, it's a Wait, can't you salvage. Want... Yeah, but is that really what you want to spend your stocks uh, on? It's a nice ability on level 3. He's right, it is a fine ability. Like it just usually gets you what you want if it's a character. And that's that's pretty good. I, I think I the mean, other. I think the real problem is. The and you already have a ditch bomb to the heal. I think the real problem is you just don't want <laughs> this in your hand because of the climax. Yeah, you want it in your waiting room, and you don't have a ton of discard odds. Like, if this card is in your hand, uh, <laughs> that just means you're not doing the climax combo with the specific copy of this in your hand. No, no, that's okay. All you have to do is trigger a standby, ditch this from your hand with that standby effect. And then trigger another standby, and you got there. Okay, I mean, I, this just doesn't seem very... Uh, Good. Applicable. Well, it's it's it, probably a it's niche just, card. It's just like... This is niche card because you chuck it into the standby deck, but it's like... Niche minus, know. maybe? Yeah, yeah you chuck it into the standby deck because there's really not a, a reason not to, but it's just so marginal. This card feels super uh, underwater. I don't know. The in like, in like 20 good. games, I've maybe used this at level 3 once or twice. Yep. And that's yes. usually because I bricked on the restand combo. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go on. Moose, the Canadian friend. 3 2 10k. Uh, if you have four more other friends, this game's neg one level in hand, so it's a neat advanced summon, I guess. Uh, all your other characters cannot side attack, and this is a heal. So, mm. uh, this is the reason Japan plays red, right? Mm. Yes. So no, Japan yes. plays red because of gates. No, it's no. They don't even play eight gates. They play like four gates, four standby. They play and four gates, four standby, which is even worse than eight gates. <laughs> no, um, uh, I think this is, is that like... actually what Japan plays for kimono friends? Uh, I've yes. seen this, like Matsui like... played. That's the Matsu back. list and all of the shoot-offs were four gate, four standby. Oh dear god. I don't well, you didn't know. That that's like the whole joke. Yeah. Um, uh, I think this card is standby. fine. You can like play it as an additional card to summon with owls if you want to. Or if you're playing red, this is what, for example down? in a two soul build, this is what I use to splash red with. I usually just level it, but this uh, yeah, sounds like a great card here, dude. Are we like framing everything in the mindset of you're playing owls? Because why does no, this no, have no. such a huge penalty randomly? Uh, because it's uh, not. I think because it's 10k base, right? I think yeah, this kind of base. ability. I think this kind of card would typically be like 9k, or 9.5. Yeah, 9, 9, 9, 9, 5 usually. I'm pretty sure the well, other. Yeah, it'd be 9.5 exactly because so this kind of you're, you're, you're paying. Oh my god, that is like so... It's so huge though. That penalty is like pretty brutal. It's... it's... it's not good. Like uh, there's another 10k early play heal, and that one doesn't have a penalty on it. Exactly. Oh... This feels terrible. It's probably... 
And well, the condition the condition costs yeah. more than the other condition. Oh, I guess. Is that really worth all your characters can't side attack though? Not usually. You really uh, don't want to side attack. Other characters. Anyways. It's not that you don't yeah. want to, but it's like there are sequences where having that side attack option available to you matters, and I don't know if it's worth playing. Yeah, but like the chance. That's, so, the chance that's actually. That's, that we're talking about marginal things. Have that's to play marginal. this card. It is but, marginal. Wait, wait, it's like, like so. You're, if not, you're not already, playing if you're this play, card. If you're playing this in like the two soul deck, for instance, there is no way in hell you don't want the ability to side attack. You don't play a two soul at level three or level two. Right, but like the you have a level is, three climax combo. The fact is, like sometimes you will have the two soul and you will need to push damage at level two or three, and you will have this in play. Then, then play over it. Then crash. Or that. I don't know. I, at least in my experience with two souls, like being able to side attack ends up mattering the most when I'm playing two soul climaxes. Hmm. You're not wrong. I don't. I don't know. I've I don't been playing with this card and it's kind of marginal because actually. Like, this is mostly used for color fix. I usually level this, so... It's just like the best <laughs> red card that I found other than the Stock Charger for the deck. It's a little bit depressing. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, um, well, that's that's enough about this card. It's like marginal, but you play it if, you, if you're in the market. Yeah, there. I think this is a playable like, card. It's not yeah. Yeah, good it's, or anything, it's, but it's like oh, fine filler. Alright, uh, we talked about this earlier. It's um Crested Porcupine. Oh, oh, oh alright, that's not its name, that's what's happening. Uh, it's a... when this uh, is placed on stage, the waiting room, you may <laughs> clock, clock the top card in your deck. If you do, you may salvage a level 1 or lower character. Where is this Bloom Flavor deck? Enter and replace it. This is, this, is, this is funny because I know a person that's called Boom. <laughs> You're a few. Niche? The playable even? It's playable, uh, probably. It doesn't feel good. I, I think it's like, like no deck is running this unless you're going out of your way not to run the anti burn. Right? Like, you don't need five of that effect. No. Yeah. You really don't. No. So I tried like, it. It was whatever. I'm not, um, I'm not high on this card. It's like a niche card. Because the effect itself isn't terrible. It's just mostly outclassed. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, right. Um,. Uh, Giant Armadillo, 102k, it is a 2k counter. Yeah, playable. generically playable. That's, uh, that's some neat flavor. The, the shield trait Armadillo is the counter. I'm, oh, is I'm shield down. trait new? I doubt it. Like, there's gotta be a, there's gotta have been a character with a shield, right? I can look like, it up. Alright. Like, we'll, what's his right. name? We'll get um, the ash the... check in a moment, don't worry. Oh. What about this the dude from SAS? Oh, yes! yes. Red cards now. Oh my god, there is too much yes. chance on this. Um, alright. These cards uh, are Canadian, weird. Canadian friend, 1055. God, do I have to? Alright. When I this is placed on stage, both players reveal the top card of their deck. If the level of the card you revealed is higher than the level of the card your opponent revealed, you may choose a cost zero or lower card in your opponent's front row and kill it. If your opponent's card has a high level, put this in your stock. This is not the first time this effect has been printed, by the way. There is a DC3 extra card that has this exact text on it. Uh, when is it on now, zero? First. No, it's a 1055. Five. It's a 10. Okay. When now battle is placed in the climax zone, I don't know what climax that is. If this oh, is in the front row, stock so if this is in the front row and you have another friend's character, you may choose a cost zero or lower friend's character in your waiting room and put it in any slot on stage. So yes. Wait, so is this considered a power demerit? Uh, that first effect? I it guess. gives the card power? Yes, because be. sometimes you don't get to attack. I mean, yes. it feels bad if you want to play three of these and you can't. Or two of these, I guess, at most. Well, you can play one, and then if you are, if you win the clash, then you get to play the others. Yeah, but if, then if you lose, you're like, oh, okay, I have to play shit cards. Yeah, like this is way like too Like this risky. card, like another copy of this card, huh? Hey, Lamar. You, you have to brainstorm because otherwise the clash is just. You're gonna lose it again. Yeah, I guess you can use this to risky. charge stock. Like you can convert cards. Whoa, well, you need to play this in all and convert this into stock. <laughs> can wait, you wait, not wait, do wait. this to wait, me, wait, wait. please? I just realized something. I just realized something. 
Does it say what happens in the event of... Oh, yeah, there's, sorry, there it is. Nothing happens if the levels are tied. Translator note. <laughs> nice. Because, like, play this with an owl. doesn't say anything. And that's, like, not something right. I'm used to. Like, this, so... card is, um, this card is not playable because it has to be, like, your main game. This oh, is no, fine as, like, a one-of to try and mize your opponent's this cost zero. This bad in that situation. If you're uh, trying to, like, like pop a you can have it just, like... So, so first like of all, it has to pop a in the front row. Deck? It has to pop a pop in the front row, right? I feel yeah. like at that point you're almost tempted just to play the bomb to consistently do that. <laughs> I mean, this I leaves something back. Right, because like the bomb will consistently kill that. Oh, never mind. Shizuru dies to the bomb. Yeah, sure, just, but what if it's Idol Master specifically? If it's specifically Idol Master? Well, then you're playing Anti Burn, so you're probably just gonna win. Yes. <laughs> then you're not playing this card anyway. Like, I think this card is way too risky to be anything but like a one off, and even I, then I, it's like. I think oh. once you've gotten to the point where you consider it oh, as a one off, you've got to one of it over the Are we bomb going there? Week, and the bomb is clearly like more consistent, and I'm willing to take that over this any day of the week. Like, the, the counts that I would ever to play this in. Uh, zero and one. Like, that's all I'd ever say. Uh, did okay. you watch the video? Yours? Yeah. No, I didn't in the end. Didn't have time. Uh, one guy plays one copy of this and one red stock so yeah, And that... he topped in, like, like Canada. <laughs> that build confuses me. It's like, uh, just... It's because this is a moose and he had to represent Canada. Like... That's I mean, not Canadian says. Pride yeah. clearly carried him to victory, right? Like, that's just what happened? Yeah. Because there's no way this card did. <laughs> I mean, uh, I just found so... it so funny that you're saying this is a one-off, and then this guy runs it as a one-off. No, like, this card is fine as a one-off, but like, uh, like Will keeps saying, it's probably better to run the bomb if that's... Okay. Like, if uh, you would like, like to... Definitely better to play a bomb. I don't think... I don't think uh, uh, like to on this card. Because... Uh, he knows the person who runs this card. He works for my store. Okay, just explain why he runs the card. Can you hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. Alright, so... The guy's a, like a, like a Pro Tour Magic player, right? So the guy's a Pro Tour Oh no, it's this guy. Um, thought process behind the card is when... When he makes like... When he gets like, too many cards in hand... Oh, so he whatever. just literally wants to lose these to get the extra stock? Just, <laughs> just go to stock. You just that is, that is terrible. That is the stock worst thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> what? Card to become something of worth instead of addition at the end of the turn. As okay. Okay. I'm not sure how his build ever gets to eight cards in hand. Sure. sure. All right. Broken. That story uh, has told me one thing. Being a pro tour magic player means jack all in terms <laughs> of high storage. What? There's a difference between being a Pro Tour Magic player and not going 0-3 drop at the Pro Tour. Like, you could have lucked through a... You could have lucked 0 3 through drop at the Pro Tour? Whatever. Well, technically it's 0-4 drop, there, because 4-4... Four, four it does, doesn't eight, matter, does he go 0-3 drop? No. Mm -hmm. He's qualified for, like, multiple BTQs. No, he's not just a qualifier, he's in the, he was in the Pro Tour. Okay, sure. What, being in the Pro Tour, um, I know lots of people... I, I mean, I'm not sure what this matters for this, but yeah. I, yeah, I just wanted to explain the thought process anyway, around the card. I mean, I mean it's not bad. It's I'm still committed like, to that. Niche. Like, if you're playing it as a one of, no way this yep. is better than the bomb. You probably don't play bad cards yeah. as a one of, though. I'm saying you uh, shouldn't maybe play you it do. as a one of. Maybe you do play bad cards as a one of, so they impact your game less uh, Look, critically. For, for me, this is either dank meme rating because you're <laughs> going all in on coin flips, or you might as well just not be playing it at all. Uh, to be fair, this deck. This set has three coin flip characters. Doesn't make it so. any better. Uh, the best coin flip character is like the dolphin. That that doesn't even what? The dolphin isn't a coin flip. I, I know, flip but it's the, the best coin flip type character by far. Next card. Yep, hey, next I, card. I have a brief, very important announcement. Uh, Shield appears in a handful of White Shores sets before this. Such as Vivid Red Operation, Excel World, Nana Hot Strikers, Melky Holmes, and Melty Blood. I didn't even realize it was in Melky Holmes. Yo, Melty, Melty Blood. Blood. It <laughs> makes sense in Melty because Reese's cello is actually a shield. Yes. Well, there it is. Did you know this then? 
Uh, no, because I've never looked very closely at anything on that card but the color. Uh, Isn't this a little right. you would notice? Asian Black Bear, look out. It's a 2 1 4 5, level X, and tap this to uh, rearrange the top two cards. You're breaking up. To, you don't get to get rid of them, but um. Okay, so what, what did you actually hear? Because all I did was read the card. I heard level X and you get to rearrange top two. Yeah, that's, that's oh, I heard, what it is. I heard, that's what it I heard does. Um, wait, you don't get to rearrange. Oh, any order. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Okay, uh, that's all it does. Um, I mean, that's fine. I like that ability. I think it's cool and incidental, but is it good enough to make a deck? That's a that's a question that only comes through uh, testing. I think Alpaca so. wins the uh, two one yeah. assist. They don't need, these don't they don't even serve the same function. You don't have yeah, to be talking about same, this. They aren't the same purpose aside you from have, you don't have to talk about thing. this in comparison with other two K like other cards meant to support cards yeah, at level two. Like other two K supports or um, level X's. This still feels like but, um, less useful effect. Then the other consideration would be there's, there's basically uh, there's basically a green level X. It has tap itself, pay two to salvage a green card, and there's a blue support that's uh, 2k to front to level three, so it gives center encore. And that's... the blue support is usually what people run. That seems more reliable than this. I would rather have that. Yeah. Frontal 2k yeah. is pretty pretty relevant right now. I think it's the mm -hmm. color that disqualifies this more than the actual utility of the ability, though. Yeah. Like. It would be cool to run this if it weren't red. Well, that's... Oh, yeah. True. Kind right. of sad. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a fine card, but probably... Playable? Not, playable yeah, minus? It's like a playable or playable minus. Yeah. Uh, Kaban, re relaxing at the cafe. Kaban is... Is that, is that an English uh, word? Cabana is an English word. No, Cabana is a Spanish Kaban word. Kaban is like bag. I know what it means, but it's... Every time I say it, it, it anyway. Well, she's when it's uh, placed on the stage, you may, um... It's a clock bond yourself. to... Sorry? Look at the art, she's enjoying herself. Uh, I, I don't doubt it. Uh, she's a clock bond to a 1-1 one, one salvage counter, which is... <laughs> I don't know why that card is a counter. Uh, and it's uh, level zero. Trigger the bomb so, on your opponent's turn. Make plays. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that makes sense, but it's also terrible. So let's salvage a counter it. mid battle phase, right in front of your opponent. Yeah. Uh, we nice. have we, we have a bottom deck bomb in this set, right? Or do we? Well, we we have some sort of non verse yeah. bomb. There's a stock bomb. Well, there's the top that deck. Gotta be bomb. better, than this, right? There's the level this is bomb the top decks that you played an event, and this is a counter event. Yeah. Alright, I mean, so is this is a... like a playable minus niche card, something like that's, that. Uh, it's probably niche, probably right? Niche. <laughs> you have to like go out of your way to incorporate these cards. Make this worth playing. Uh, Alpaca Suri, please have some tea. Uh, assist 500 in front, and... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can tap this to give your crested ibis 2500 power. Which crested ibis is this? Oh, like vanilla. A it's a vanilla. No. Don't play it. What What level vanilla? 1-0. One zero. Zero. Oh better, god. But still garbage. Oh. So um, it's 8500 vanilla. OP. <laughs> I guess. It's 8500, yeah, but that's, they, that's they not what doing this. Possible. That's not worth Why it. Why did they do this? <laughs> They're trying to get people to play vanillas, but Shit. unlike in Magic Limited, a 2-2 two -two for 2 is not good in Weiss. This is probably busted in Magic Limited. I mean, I'm Weiss Limited, though. Like, this oh, plus, um, like Crested Ibis. <laughs> no, man, Pauper Format is extremely high power level, because everyone just plays Kantai and destroys everyone. That's like... Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about uh, right. This card is bad. Um... Oh, because I don't think, bad. yeah, like the card it it supports is not good, and it's not good. Uh, Arabian, Arabian Oryx, Oryx is that a? Yeah, it's probably whatever. A type of or when this is placed from when this is placed from hand to stage, check the top card of your deck and put it either on top or bottom. When this is reversed in battle, reveal the top card of your deck. Top or winning room. 
top of waiting room, my bad. Uh, when this is reversed in battle, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's level two or higher, this goes back to your hand. So this is one of the coin flip cards that we mentioned earlier. You can't uh, actually. It's actually pretty thing. good. Yeah, you played in that deck, right? Yeah. How many level two or higher are you playing in that deck? I'm playing 20. So yeah, little. You can't control the top of your deck because you like, well, if it's level zero, then you can get rid of it or you can stock it or whatever, but uh, that aside, this is... You can like make your brainstorms more likely to hit them. I think, I think this is like the, the most relevant it's a really nice but in terms really... that it has a come to play ability too. Yeah, they are incidentally good abilities, but I mean whatever. If it's in a card you're playing multiple times in a game, I think that's fine. Well it's fine, yeah, but the ability itself is not high impact. Like no. it's it's fine. Sure, it's no, an it's incremental not. thing. I mean, anyways, it's niche because it belongs to that coin flip deck. Yeah. Uh, White Rhinoceros, 0025. At the start of your Encore step, if you have no other rested characters in the front row, you may pay one to rest this. This is not mm. actually terrible. Like, it's fine, but I feel like you have many, many other better options. They're like actual runners, right? I, I there's a runner and there's a 4K oversize. Yeah, we're over there's... this. This is, like, not even remotely. And you also have Caban, which is, like, Caban is a much better enabler of Trifield. There's, like, no reason to play this at all. Yeah. Uh, Lion, leader battle, 0035. When this is placed from hand to stage, both players reveal the top card of their decks. If level, the card you reveal is higher than your opponent level's opponent's card. Is this the same? No, it's not the same thing. No, so, it's card. almost the same as the other one, except instead of this going to stock, it gets rested. Uh, hmm. So, yeah, I... Uh, Flavor... So, that's a demerit, because this is an oversize. Damn. Uh, yeah, alright, like, whatever. This is probably not playable, because the one zero version exists. What, the one zero one is worse than this in my mind. What, the one zero one can go to stock? This one just Yeah, the one zero goes like... to stock, this gets rested. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, that's oh, fine. Oh, it's opponent's but... front row, sorry, I thought it was completely different. I was, like, not even paying attention. Yeah, no, this is terrible. If it was back row, this would actually be good, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Would it? I'm I'm not convinced because it's still so it maybe a coin flip. Maybe a stupid like... coin flip deck, sure. Actually, isn't this fine in coin flip? Like it's a three five that'll probably win over your opponent in the clash. Yeah. Hmm. But it, not the, the fact that it gets rested is still kinda sucks, hey? Yeah. Alright. Orox, start of the battle. Uh 1045 when another friend attacks gets 1k for the turn and up to once a turn when this becomes reversed reveal the top card of your deck if it's level 2 or higher you may rest it um i don't know i, I have yeah yeah this Niche. isn't bad for a coin flip card to be honest it isn't bad or is it isn't bad it isn't it's okay yeah. Like it'll six, it'll five. get reasonably yeah. biggish. I mean, the coin flip effect is not a great one. No, no. it's not. But can you intentionally miss the trick? Uh, uh, no. Oh no no! You, no, you it's you mandatory, can, right? You may rest this. Like you may rest the cards. So oh sure. That's fine. All right. But you have to reveal. Yes. I mean, that's good as well, because you now know your next trigger. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's Crested Ibert searching for allies. We discussed this. Bad. Um, 217k. Uh, Panther Chameleons. This cannot be chosen by your opponent's effects, and this is a anti-change bomb? Anti-change bomb. Yeah, huh. that is actually fine. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, I think you play this, like, no, you don't play this in the in the normal solo resistance decks, but... When you play red in the solo restant decks, you play this because it's textproof. I mean, well, you only you only play it if you actually need it, basically. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. This is just a hedge against tap counter tap specifically. Count. Yeah. yeah. I mean, tap counters have been getting more common. Have they? Kimono okay, got one. I mean, it's just uh, like two sets, right? The next most recent one, isn't it? 
That's just too maybe, sad. Maybe I just, uh, ReZero got one. Yeah, ReZero and Kimono. Wait, what are uh, we counting as recent? I just don't think there are that many. I don't like, think there are many. It's obviously a meta consideration, right? It's not entirely common that, like, you're gonna no, see- tap like... counters are still rare, but, like, there are, like, yeah. at least- There sure. are more than five sets worth tap counters at this point. Actually, yeah, there are not that many tap counters. But, like, five is not a lot of sets, so... Okay. I mean, this is a fine card. Yeah, this fine is a card. Really do we have to talk about this markings or one one event? <laughs> choose a friend. No, no, just choose a friend or mecha character in your waiting room and add it to your hand. Oh, well, there it's is like another the biggest, biggest salvage Ricky ever. It's a counter. Right? No, I mean like the, the net effect it's is a like clock a clock bomb. Salvage Ricky. Well, yeah, it's better than salvage <laughs> Ricky because it returns anything. But it's wow. worse oh, because, um, there's, there's it's worse because it falls no, prey to... Both Salvatrickies that are traits do, but this one, everything. the one in this set does not. No, 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 all, all Salvatrickies that are trait restricted retrieve anything from the rating room. Oh, sure. But, like, yeah. is this really considered trait restricted? This is trait restricted. I mean... No, no. Well, no, what I'm saying is, trait like... It's, it's trait restricted, objectively speaking, because it specifies traits. That's what Yeah, so, like, yeah. the Salvage Rikis are level 1 or lower because they're not trait restricted. Things like the Gochiusa Salvage Riki, you can get anything because it's trait restricted. Quote-unquote. Yeah. Quote well, unquote. Yeah. Uh... That doesn't make this card good. No. No, <laughs> it doesn't. I just like to comment that fact. The opportunity cost is... Big, I guess, for anyone who almost took you seriously. Oh, so this loses to Nisekoi Sweets, like a lot of things, so... Yeah, uh... like Attack and Fight. <laughs> Alright. Oh uh, god, Jakari we need to play Nisekoi Sweets in English now. Yeah, Penguin 420 thinks Sweets is broken too. Of course he does. Alright, Japari... So next card is Japari Bus. Uh, do we have an anti... like a, an inverse of meta? Like, is, do we have a label for the worst card in the set? No, wait, there's a worse card in this! Thank no, you. this has to be the worst card, uh, right? No, there's, no, there's a worse card than funny. this. No, oh, okay. there's a right, worse so... card than this. It's no, in blue. You're discarding two cards to get an anthem effect. That's garbage. Wait, which card is worse in blue? Pay one discard two. What, what is... card do you think? What do you? What card do you think I'm talking? We need yeah. the tragedy rating. <laughs> is it another event? Yes. Okay. Then I don't know we'll what card you're it. talking about. Are you talking about the double encore giver? No. no, aren't you supposed to have been testing this stuff? What? No. I'm talking to Christian. Oh, well, yeah, but, like, uh, I'm, I wasn't sure if, like, the blue event was what you were talking about. Because is that actually worse than this? I think this is worse than the one I'm looking at. <laughs> I legitimately think this is worse. This is, you need two of a specific event. Preferably at level 1, otherwise you're not going to get that much benefit out of it. And you need to run and this then, at 4. And then <laughs> the effect sucks. And there's no bonds to it. Well, like, so you're, you're, play, to get it. you're playing this event at 4, right? But, like, yeah. even if you lived the dream and got all of them into your hand at some point, right? Like, multiple you times, uh, you still can only get a maximum of plus 3k bonus, and you only have to pay, what, 3 stock and discard basically 6 cards for it? Hey, nice. <laughs> you want to know what the worst part about this is? If so, if you play against the new green SAO stuff, they can flip this card down. <laughs> you know what my favorite part about this is? If you're playing against, like... Are there any decks that move things from memory back in? Back in the corner? Uh, not your opponent's stuff. It's set oh, 4%. No, it's, it's like, just doesn't Persona count. 5. Uh, so unfortunate. Alright. Uh, oh, wait, that's wait, all... wait. Standard uh, P5 support with the Sao thing that flips... Face down cards in memory. Hey! <laughs> oh no! I did it. What are we even talking about? This is supposed to be kimono cast. <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry. This is You're not broken. family. This is not family friendly. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's it for red. I have fulfilled my purpose. <laughs> you've, you've done it. You've created a dang meme. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back with a uh, blue.